thing versus in other examples. Suppose g is a function from R to R, that is real number to real number given by f of x equal to x square plus 5. Then find uh, g inverse of b in the following cases. The first case is where b is equal to 6. It is a single element. So g inverse is equal to x belongs to r that is here such that g of x equal to 6. That is uh, x belongs to r such that we know that g of x is given by no, okay, just a minute. This is uh, not f of x. It is g of x. Such that uh, g of x is nothing but x square plus 5. So, x square plus 5 is equal to 6. So, that is x belongs to r such that then uh, this x square will be equal to 1. So, which indicates that x will be equal to plus or minus 1. So, therefore, g inverse of 6 is equal to plus or minus 1. So, next is when b is a range of values uh, inclusive of 6 to 7. Then this is nothing but x belongs to r such that g of x belongs to 6 comma 7. That is nothing but 6 less than or equal to g of x is nothing but x square plus 5 less than or equal to 7. So subtracting 5 because at the center you have x square plus 5. So to cancel this 5 I have to subtract 5 from the whole expression. So I will get 1 less than or equal to x square less than or equal to 2. So which indicates that when you sub, uh, sub uh, use the 1 less than or equal to x square is nothing but uh, x less than or e x is greater than or equal to plus or minus 1. So, when you use this one it is less than or x less than or equal to plus or minus square root of 2 x less than taking the square root on all the whole uh, every term. So, I will get 1 plus or minus 1 less than or equal to x plus or minus square root of x that is here square root here if you take square root you will get x if you take square root of this you will get plus or minus square root of 2. So therefore the range of uh, x value will be minus 1 to minus square root of 2 and 1 to square root of 2. So that is the value of uh, x lies in this range. Suppose uh, the b is 6 to 10 inclusive of 6 and 10. So then x belongs to r such that g of x belongs to 6 and 10. The same procedure but here the value will be 6 less than or equal to x square plus 5 less than or equal to 10. Subtracting 5 you will get 1 plus or minus 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to plus or minus 5. The same way as previous but here the next case is uh, my uh, from minus 4 to 5, 5 exclusive. That is 5.0 will not be there. Less than that 4.99999 also will be there. So here the condition will be minus 4 less than or equal to x square plus 5 less than 5. So if you subtract 5 from the whole expression you will get minus 5 less than or equal to x square less than 0 which implies minus 9 uh, less than or equal to x square less than or equal to minus 1 because it is a less than 0. Therefore, you will get uh, this and from using this x square cannot be greater than minus 9. So, by this uh, you will not be getting any expression. So, you will get a 5 and again from this again x square less than or equal to minus 1 square of uh, number cannot be negative. So, you will not be getting any value. So, x will be equal to 5. The next is g is a function from r to r given by x square plus 5 find f inverse of g in this following case. The same procedure you have to apply here. From this you will not get any value. From this you will get x equal to 0. So this is an exercise you can do. So all this what we have seen so far is uh, f or g is a function and given by single value. So now let us see one more example here with the discrete values. So previously we have seen with the uh, expression. So now suppose if a is a set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, B is a set containing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and F is a function from A to B where F is given by 1, 2, 2, 6, 1, 3, 6, uh, 4, 8, 5, 6, 6, 8, 7, 12. Determine the pre-image of B1 under F in each of the following cases. So here the function we are not uh, worried about whether it is 1 to 1 and on to. So for B1 equals to 2 what are the pre-images? The question is finding the preview for B1 in each of the following case. So, 2 is associated with the uh, 1 and uh, 2 is not anything. So, pre-image in this case, the first one answer is 1. So, second one, 6. 6 is associated with 2 and 3. So, the answer will be here. 
the 6 will be also associated with 5. So, for this case, it is a, a 2, 3 and 5. The pre-image of this will be 2, 3, 5. Next, 6 and 8. 6 uh, is 2, 3, 5. 8 will be associated with 4 as well as 6. The union of this. So, that is 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So, likewise for the remaining you can do. So, next is the uh, next question. So, uh, where uh, the functions are given as a split function. So, this we call it as a split function. So, f of x is equal to x plus 7 if x is less than or equal to 0. If x is uh, between 0 and 3 exclusive, then it is minus 2x plus 5. And if x is greater than or equal to 3, x minus 3 is the function. So, now in this case, find f inverse of some values uh, and uh, determine the pre-image of f under each of the cases. So, how we can do it? So, if the function values are asked, suppose the value question will be, suppose, find f of minus 1, if they ask. So, what you are supposed to do? This is finding just the function. Then, we will see the inverses finding. First, we will see finding the function values. So, first thing is here, this is the x value. So, you should check whether x comes in which range. So, in this case, x is less than or equal to 0. So, you have to substitute x equal to minus 1 in this equation. So, f of minus 1 will be minus 1 plus 7, which is nothing but 6. So, suppose if f of uh, x, f, what is f of 0? So, 0 is here it satisfies this condition. So, it will be 7. If f x is, uh, if suppose I want to find f of 1, then you have to first check whether this 1 is satisfying this or this or this. So, f 1 is less than 0 is false. So, 1 is between 0 and 3 is true. So, you have to substitute in this equation the value of 1. So, minus 1 into minus 2, 1 into minus 2 plus 5. So, it is minus 2 plus 5, which is nothing but 3. If the value of uh, x is greater than or equal to 3, suppose f of uh, 4 you want to find, then this is not satisfied, this is not satisfied, this will be satisfied. So, you substitute in this equation x minus 1. So, f of uh, 4 will be equal to 4 minus 1 which is 3. So, you can observe that 3 has two images, three images, 1 as well as 4. So, this is the finding the function values in the split function. Next, how do we find the inverses? That is a question. So, f inverse of minus 10, how do we find? Here is so, it is nothing but x plus 7 is equal to minus 10 and x less than or equal to 0. That is to be done. First condition, union minus 2x plus 5 is equal to minus 10 and 0 less than x less than 3. Union x minus 1 is equal to minus 10 and 3 less than or equal to x. So, all these you have to substitute and find to do this. So, let us see one, uh, the same example. I will write it more clearly in some white uh, bold. That is, this is a given split function. So, for finding the f inverse of minus 10, so the equation will be x belongs to r, x less than or equal to 0. This is the first case and x plus 7 is equal to minus 10 because I am finding for minus 10. So, this equation has to be satisfied such that x should be less than 0. Union x belongs to r and 0 less than x less than 3. This has to be satisfied and this must be equal to minus 10. That is what you are written. Union x belongs to r such that 3 less than or equal to x that is x greater than or equal to 3 and x minus 1 is equal to minus 10. So, now with this for each of the union you have to find out what is the value of x. So, now if first condition if you take x belongs to or x less than 0 
and x is equal to if you uh, see that x plus 7 is equal to minus 10 it becomes x is equal to minus 17. So now we have got x is equal to minus 17 and this x uh, less than 0 is also satisfied. Therefore you will get the value of x as minus 17. Next is x is between 0 and 3 that is exclusive 0 and 3 and from this equation what I get here is uh, 2x will be equal to 15 so x will be equal to 7.5 so but if you observe the both the conditions so x is 7.5 and uh, x is between 0 and 3 so this is not going to give any value because we are saying that x value should be in the so we are from the first I am saying that x must be in 0 and 3 And, but what I got is x is the above 0 and it is not in the range. This is somewhere here 7.5. So this is one range and if this x value is within this range, that value is a valid one. So here, so it is giving no values of x. Similarly, here we say that x is greater than or equal to 3, but we get x is equal to minus 9, which is not going to give any value of values which satisfies both the conditions. So, this is also 5. So, therefore, f inverse of minus 10 is equal to minus 17. So, you can verify whether your answer is correct or not by checking by substituting x equal to minus 70. So, if you see that x is equal to minus 17, it is con satisfying this condition. So, here if you substitute x is equal to minus 17, so you will get x, uh, the value of y will be minus 10, so which is correct. So, now the second case is f inverse of 4. So, if you substitute in the same way, you are going to get minus 3 from the first condition from the second condition half and the third condition is 5. So, you can try and uh, check whether the f inverse of 4 is uh, minus 3, half and 2 and after uh, finding you can verify whether it is correct or not. So, this is minus 3. So, minus 3 means nothing but x less than or equal to 0. So, if you substitute uh, minus 3 in place of x, what we can observe here is you will get the answer as 4. So, it is correct. Next, uh, half. So, half is between 0 and 3 also. So, if you substitute half here, so you will get uh, minus 2, 1 by 2. So, you will get minus 1 plus 5 which is 4. So, that is also correct. Next, you can observe 5. So, 5 is greater than 5 is greater than or equal to 3. So, if you substitute x equal to 5, you will get 5 minus 1 is 4. So, you will get this is 4. So, your answer is correct. So, likewise, you can check whether your answers are correct when your function is a split function. Next is f inverse lies in the range from minus 5 to minus 1. So, again here you have to substitute in this place that is a minus 5 less than or equal to x plus 7 less than or equal to 8 union. Uh, this, this, this also and instead of this single value you have to substitute in the range value. So, you will be getting this value. Next again substituting in that you will be getting this answer. Thank you.